Máximo. ¿Qué crees? Por fin llegó el día que llevamos esperando toda la vida. ¿Perdiste la virginidad? Esa es su notición. ¿Con quién fue? ¿Con tu prima tercera? No me es que fue la segunda de la tercera, para que hayas No, no, no he perdido la virginidad. Pero esta noticia es mejor. Bueno, igual de buena. Mi vecino Tico tiene un compa, Jorge, y él tiene un hermano, Miguel, que le dijo que su amigo Francisco le contó que hay un aviso de que se buscan personal en el hotel de las colinas y conseguí que nos entrevisten a los dos en un ratito. ¡Órale, qué increíble! Pero no puedo. Hoy empiezo a trabajar en la terminal de camiones. Pero este siempre ha sido nuestro sueño dorado. No más imagínate a tu mamá, ya recuperada de sus ojos, en una casotota junto al mar, no porque le esté limpiando, sino porque tú se la compraste. Hola, Camila. Hola, Fernando. How you, how you doing? I'm good. How are you? This, I was just telling, um, I was just telling Cord and, uh, and, and Jessica that this looks like a fun film to, to be a part of. Now I know Fernando for you, this is like one of your one of your first projects. So I know it, it must have been super fun, but just can y'all just tell me like how fun it was to be on the, in this bubble on this resort, like making this project? Oh, it was incredible. I was learning so much on the job every single day because not only was I blessed with an incredible crew, but I was also blessed with an incredible cast with some incredibly um, amazing um, acting veterans and also... Americans, too. Because <laughs> you were going to say that. I was going to say Americans. <laughs> but yeah, Americans and Mexicans. Um, but yeah, I feel so blessed because they were they were there to hold me in and, you know, I had someone to fall back on all the time. Mm -hmm. You guys were incredible. Um, so I just feel blessed and so lucky to have this opportunity and with a character that feels so close to my heart and special. It was great. I, I know that, that you guys have, like, probably a lot of great... TV that plays in Mexico and in Colombia and, and, and elsewhere. But how does it feel to be a part of a project that's that's universal but bilingual? And, and it's not because it's you know Spanish dub or English dub or how does it feel to be a part of that in a sense? It feels it feels great because um, we didn't we don't want to be put in this box. We want to reach everyone. We don't want just Latinas to relate to us. We want every girl from every background to watch your show and say, oh my God, I see myself. Mm -hmm. um, so for us, it's very special. And we're also honored to be, you know, kind of the pioneers for, um, like, the there's not a lot of stuff. bilingual mm -hmm. shows out there. Um, it's, it's, an, it's an incredible honor. Your English, it's, it's quite good. Thank you. I had the best English teachers. Um, Luke Skywalker, Indiana Jones. Danny Suko. I had pretty good English teachers too. Uh, Jane Austen, uh, Emily Bronte, Virginia Woolf. No offense, but those sound like really boring movie characters. <laughs> They're actually authors. Some of the great ones too. But I am also hopelessly devoted to Greece. <laughs> In that moment, it was clear Julia was the one. I could tell just from the look in her eyes. You want to kiss me, don't you? Yes. Well, until you own the place and tell me not to, I, I have to get back to work. Bit of free advice, huh? Yes, I love an advice from you. If you want to keep this job, maybe don't hit on the boss's girlfriend. What does that mean? Who's Julia's boyfriend? <laughs> if it makes you feel better, you never had a shot anyway. In one episode, I forget which one it is, uh, uh, Camila, um, you, you talked to Enrique's character, Young Maximo, about like that you're not a damsel in distress. It's the, it's the episode with the, with the big actor that's there. And um, are we at a day where you could no longer ever be the damsel in distress? Is that like yesteryear? Can you ever? Be the damsel in distress in these days? Hmm. Can I answer that? No. Um, but we don't want to give too much away. We don't away. want to give too much away. I but feel I, like I'll I'm, tell you this Camila's not a damsel in distress. I am not. She, just like her character, is a strong woman who knows what she wants. I do. And she goes and gets it. Yes. I, I, I wasn't talking about it as a spoiler. I was just talking about just like in life, you know, so I, I wasn't trying to give you anything. Oh, I thought it was a spoiler. I can't tell you. <laughs> That's why I looked at him. I was like, oh, should I go? <laughs> so 
sorry, sorry. We're like, I'm sorry. Um, there's there's also this thing. Um, I think they call it limpia, where it's, where it's the superstitious thing. And I wonder if any of you guys are superstitious. Uh, do I have superstitions? Um, yeah. That I carry the same as no, I am very superstitious. I was gifted a Britney Spears perfume on set because I wanted my costumes to smell like Britney Spears perfume. It was a gift. I wasn't trying to be a diva. Um, and I was I put it every single day. And the one day that I didn't put it on, I had a rough day on set. So immediately I was like, it was a perfume. So my, I'm wearing the perfume right now. Anything that is related to the show, I will be wearing, wearing my perfume. always with Fernando, wherever he goes. Yeah, it's my Britney Spears perfume. Wherever he goes, he's taking Britney Spears with him. Britney. Oh, definitely. It's Britney. <laughs> And, and Kavita, last question. Um, I, I know Acapulco is, is a great spot to go to and, a, and definitely a great spot in the 80s. But have any of you had, like, what's your favorite vacation destination that y'all have been to thus far? I think mine has been uh, the Bahamas. I love the ocean. So for me, that was like a dream. I just like to relax, have a few, you know, <laughs> little drinks by the beach and have a good time. Um, that's that. Mine? I mean, I haven't traveled much, to be honest with you. I'm not a huge beach person. I don't like the beach that much. What? I oh, don't. you were never at the no, beach? At the... I, we like... lived at the beach. <laughs> this guy was never at, or he was hiding under an umbrella. I did never got him. I'm but... like, I'm not going into the sun. No, just kidding. I just, I don't like feeling wet. Um, <laughs> I don't. I don't like my clothes wet. Um, but New York City, I've been there once, and it was the, the um, trip of a lifetime. I forgot the word. It was a trip of a lifetime. So New York. Where is New York? Well, this show, I, I, I think it's, I, I'm glad that it's breaking barriers. And I'm glad that, you know, I'm not having to be a, a sub or a dub. I could just live, but I could, I could get, get it all at once and feel like I'm part of the culture and uh, oh. can't wait the the world season. So y'all yeah, did a great job and uh, everybody's gonna know that in a few days. Oh, <laughs> thank you. We're excited for the world to see it. And we hope we enjoy, they enjoy it and they love it. <laughs>